candle wax. Here's my candle. Notice I'm not using a white candle. That, that's easy. You know, consumers know how to take care of candle wax, white candle. That's just simply with a craft paper bag and an iron, and you melt it into the craft paper bag, and voila, it's gone. Problem is, this contains wax, paraffin wax or beeswax, and a dye. And so we have two problems here. How did I get some candle wax onto a carpet? Well, it's real simple. Simply laid it on a foam block on a depression, and I just lit it up in the lab, and I just allowed it to drip heavily onto the carpet until I was done. And of course, I allowed this to cool off, and actually about a month later, when I was done doing all of these, and that's when I, uh, so all of these that I'm doing right now are a month old. First thing again, you notice I'm wearing gloves here, in this case, surgical gloves. We are going to pry that off. Not as easy as it looks. Here I'm just using the uh, sharp uh, tail of the carpet shark, uh, punching holes in it. That'll help me break it loose. Now you can see it's a much easier to pry apart than when I was just trying to pry it all alone. Now that I've got it broken up. Here I'm covering it again with a towel. I'm going to cover it with my steam iron. Got it set at medium temperature for one to two minutes. If we're wool, we'd have to be a lot more careful. And now we're applying our power gel while it's still good and hot. I did that very quickly so that hit it while it's still hot, agitate it while it's still hot. So I want it liquid. The purpose of adding the power gel there is not to dissolve it. The purpose there is to emulsify it. And here I'm extracting it out. Makes removal of candle wax a whole lot simpler. In this way, also, we're avoiding setting the stain. Dry blot, as always. Apply red relief because there may be a stain there. I didn't see one in this case, but just as a matter of illustration, I'm just going to spray in red relief and take for you. This time I'm using a damp towel, steam iron, for just a few seconds. thoroughly extract it out, and we'll be done. Any stain is now gone. Remember to always thoroughly rinse out your red relief and dry blot. If you have a feeling that some will come back, then of course always apply stain blotter.